Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. So, this is the hive that I took out of the floor of the house. We're going to do a little update on it and see how they're doing. Uh, that removal has been done probably two weeks ago. So, uh, when I brought them home, I give them a frame of brood that I put in there. You'll be able to tell which one that was. Uh, that would uh, help to make sure the bees stay here because they've actually got something to look after. And then I kept the queen in that clip for probably two to three days just so they would start, the workers would start bringing in uh, resources and stuff and that would give them an even more or greater reason to stay. So let's jump in here and see what we got. As we can see right off the bat, this was the frame of brood that I put in. And as you can see, we got bees on a little bit over half of the box. I can see through here that they've got a little bit of uh, foundation drawn out. Now what, what was in this box was this was just straight uh, foundation. There was nothing drawn out on it or anything else. This is pretty much, they started all over again. So what I'm gonna do, pop this frame loose. If you're just thinking about getting into beekeeping, those are probably the best uh, hive tools that you can get. I'll leave a link down below for those. Uh, I really like these uh, hive tools. The only thing about it is you need to uh, knock the edges off of them because uh, they will cut the crap out of you. As you can see, they're drawing it out. <clears throat> Try to grab this. There's a little bit of worker brood right here. That she's got drawn out. And all the pretty little bees. From being in here no longer than they have been, they look like they're doing really, really good. I had somebody comment on one of my videos not too long ago about holding your frames over your uh, hive. Yes, that is something you need to do. But the thing about it is, if I'm doing YouTube videos and I'm trying to show y'all up close what everything looks like, you can't always hold the frames over the thing. All this is is worker brood. She's laying like a beast. Her uh, laying pattern is not the best in the world, but. And you can see from this side that it's really not the best in the world, but I mean, she's doing something right. We got a, almost a hive full of bees. They've only been in here a handful of weeks. Not even that, maybe three weeks at the most. Now this is that frame of brood that I had put in there and as you can see we still got a little bit of brood left over there. There's eggs and larvae in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. That little bee in the center right there is doing what they call a waggle dance. The one that's doing the real sporadic dancing. There's a couple of them doing it. And there's the stuff on the other side. So this hive's doing really, really good. If you've watched my videos for very long, you know I normally don't go through and completely go through a hive, but <laughs> I just wanted to show y'all what was going on. More eggs and larvae. I 
So this half's doing good. Especially for pretty much starting all over again. There's a drone right there in the center of the screen. Right there. He's the guy with the big eyes. Now all these uh, bees in here are females except for him. In the bee world, the females are the worker bees. And there's some eggs and larvae down at the bottom of that frame. So they're doing good. I haven't seen the queen. I hadn't really looked for her. She might even be on video already and don't even know it. We'll pull one more frame out just to look. this one back up you know what I didn't even notice it when when I caught that queen she was marked at one time you'll see that little bit of red on her so she was a marked queen she come out of somebody's hive And if you didn't see her, she's right there. She's got a little bit of red on her back. Let me put her back in there right quick. Let's go ahead and close this up and then we'll do a wrap up on it. Now if you'll notice when I was putting these frames back in, I'll go ahead and butt them up against each other. That way when I get ready to close the hive up, I've got less likely of a chance to crush bees when I'm pushing the frames back together. Now if you'll notice there's a pretty good space over here. I got these uh, hives from Man Lake. And uh, for some unknown reason, They're a little wide. And I'd rather we have space on the outside than any on the inside of the frames. So that's the reason why I moved them like that. Dude. So there we go. We'll do a wrap up. So to wrap up on this is we've got eggs, we've got larva, we've got brood. The queen's laying really good. When I caught her in the video, I didn't even know that she was uh, a marked queen and she's really, really light. So I don't know what kind of queen she is. She could just be a straight up mutt. I can't really tell and I can't really look at the camera because the sun is a blur. And, uh, this hive's doing good. I don't see any issues with them at all main thing right now is just to watch them, make sure they don't run out of room, and uh, give them room when they need it. The dragonfly. Got a lot of dragonflies flying around, and a lot of people think that's a good thing, but they, uh, dragonflies eat honeybees too. So, there that is. I got my hat on the camera, and I'm hoping the camera ain't picking it up. The wind's blowing a little bit out here, so uh, I've got it trying to block the wind. We got a good hive, it's good to go. I'll do an update on it in a couple more weeks. Probably when I add another super on it and I'll show y'all uh, what you need to look for when you want to add it, give the bees more room. And it probably won't take them maybe another week or so to uh, build the rest of that stuff out. Probably another two weeks before they'll need, maybe two and a half weeks before they'll need another box. Uh, the reason why I hive swarms because they run out of room and all that good stuff. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all learned from it. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one.